Hey guys, how is everybody? I hope you are all doing good. Sorry it's been so long, I've been sick. Sherilyn Kenyon, who's now going to be Miss McQueen, born of night, okay? Uh, anybody that knows me knows that Sherilyn is one of my favorite authors. Probably not one. The um, and This was her first um, league novel. Uh, it's now called Nemesis Rising. That's for her later novels of the same line. Um, the main character's name is Chiron. He is half Andorian, I believe is how you say it, and half human. Yeah, how I say it in my head is different now. It's really sad. Um, um, it's one of my favorite fallback books. I watch, watch it, read it regularly. This is about the fourth time since I've had it. Um... He's an assassin. His um he of the highest degree. He's the only assassin to ever retire, quote unquote. In this book you get to meet Kyra, Kira, that's his partner. Um she's a dancer and a princess. Um there's a lot of humor, but it's not Kyron. Kyron is not Nick Nick Kyron. Nick Kyron. I, I don't know how to say his name. N-Y-K. Nick. He's not uh, humorous. His best friend Sin is. He's my favorite character ever in this series. I mean, Dancer's close, but... Um, I recommend it if you're into science fiction and the possibility of the different worlds that are out there because it's so neat and fun. There's um, They go to a, uh, a planet and the, it has... A marketplace and you get to see all these different people um, her characters are always very well written like even the bad guys you end up feeling sorry for them when you hear their story um, but they are well written individuals who I enjoy I see how harsh the world can be to everybody and I enjoy that finding your counterpart makes you feel better um, that's why I like romance. It Finding someone who accepts you for you. And in this one, uh, Nick is very scary. He's very scary. He has a lot of issues. As a matter of fact, everybody on the Centella has issues, which is the name of the, um... Oh my gosh, that completely left me brain fart. The name of the space station, that's what it's called, that they have their base on. And Nemesis, which is Nick's alter ego, is out to help the little man. Um, you get introduced to some characters that later have their own books. And... The great thing is it's kind of like watching a... This is a baby, and as you read the other books, it becomes a full-grown human being. Sorry, guys, it's been a while, and I'm, I am made notes, but... Who uses notes when you make them? <laughs> but um, I thoroughly enjoyed the action. Like, that's my favorite thing about Charlene Kenyon's books. There may be two Bow Chicka Wow Wow scenes, too, in each of her books at the most... Most of it is the, there's action, there's um, um, bonding, um, there's things like that that I thoroughly, I, I enjoy that more than, I mean, you have some authors out there that every third page is a, you know, happy moment, and that's great, because that sells too, but I I prefer the the bonding and the the action, the the worry about how they're going. To, I like action movies too, so that's probably why the. I'm very upset. She's going through a lot. She may not write any more league books or any more um, dark hunter books, and and that's very distressing to me because where else am I going to find this kind of world? For the whole for the last ten years, it's been her or Christina Fiam, to be honest. And the occasional DJ Moles um, put in there. But uh, next time we'll discuss 
or I'll tell you my opinions on uh, Allegiance by DJ Moles from the series The Remaining. Alrighty, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Oh, if you have any suggestions for books to read, put them down below. Thanks.